One of our Wild Preps feature games for the first round of the high school football playoffs takes us to Class 3A, and it is Evanston on the road at fourth-ranked Riverton. It's the 1-4 matchup between the East top seed and the West four seed, visiting with uh, Coach Moore from Evanston. And thank you for taking a few minutes here. I guess, first of all, I haven't had a chance to, to, to visit with you, so how would you characterize what you saw out of your team during the regular season? Uh, you know, it was – some ups and downs, you know, the preseason, we ended up going two and two. We played the two teams out of Utah right off the bat who were three, se three games into their season. So we had to play a little catch up there and they were, they're good teams. In fact, that South summit team still doing some things in the playoffs. And then uh, we saw Riverton and Lander. So we went two and two in the, in the, the preseason regular season in the tough three, a West, we ended up going two and three and, and, Thought we battled and, and competed with those teams that were ranked higher than us. Just couldn't quite get over the hump. But um, some ups and downs for sure. But I would definitely say that we've progressively gotten better throughout the year, which is a good thing as a coach to see. You mentioned it. You faced Riverton in the regular season. Here you are going to face them again in the postseason. What do you remember or think back to that game? Well, you go back and you watch it. We, we were up 20 to 10 at half. And then the second half, they kind of – they came back and tied it up, and then we ended up getting the last touchdown there. But, uh, you know, we can look at that film and, and take some things away from it. But I think we're – me and me and Coach Lenhart would probably both agree that we're different teams, and uh, they're definitely better. Um, the things he's done up there is uh, some good improvements. Uh, they do a lot of different things, and uh, we got our hands full for sure. What do you see specifically when you look at, at the Wolverines right now? Yeah, you know, they do a lot offensively. There are lots of different formations. They got some playmakers. They try to get the ball in their hands, do lots of different things. So we got to be fundamentally sound defensively. Uh, Pre-snap alignments is going to be critical. Um, and then defensively, they've just gotten better and better and better. Their defensive line seems to improve uh, weekly. Um, they, they play some games up front a little bit. And um, just really every facet of the game, they've gotten better. You were paid. And this might be the first that you hear about it. A lot of compliments from coaches in the 3A West about how tough your team played them or I think Evanston's going to get somebody. What does that mean to you when you hear that from opposing coaches, especially well, in that tough 3A West? That's kind of what we hang our hat on. We got we got kids that love the game of football. They play with some passion, high energy kids. Um, and that's definitely a, a great compliment. And that that's kudos to our kids and our other coaches and you know, we practice at a high level. We, we compete on Friday nights. I don't have to worry about our kids not putting out great effort on Friday nights say, or even at practice. Uh, they love the game of football. They just love playing it, and it shows in their game. So that, that's a great compliment um, and appreciate it for sure. All right, let's take it one step further. Not asking for the game plan here, but <laughs> what are some things that you stress to your team about Friday night, especially when you think about your team and, and some important keys against Riverton? And well, maybe even factor in the elements, too. Yeah, it's going to be cold. I just got done. I've been tracking the weather. And <laughs> earlier in the week, the 20, 26 degrees was a high. I think I just looked, and it's 33. So it's going to warm up a little bit, I guess. Uh, I don't think it's going to be wet, but you never know, right? Uh, but it's going to be chilly. Uh, I think all the wetness is coming in tomorrow for both us and Riverton. Uh, but it's definitely going to be cold. As far as the game plan goes, you know, it's another week for us. It's business as usual. We got to play a clean game. We got to win the turnover battle, uh, penalties. We got to, you know, win the turnover battle. It's another game. That's what I've stressed to the kids. Yeah, it's, it's different in a way that it's playoffs, but it's another Friday night. We get a chance to compete again. We need to appreciate that. And it's, it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a competitive football game for sure. Well, Coach, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to preview it with me and wish you best of luck in Riverton Friday night. You betcha. Thank you, David, for all you do for, for Wyoming Athletics and, and reaching out to people and doing these things. Really appreciate it. We continue talking about one of our featured playoff game matchups. It takes us to 3A, and it's Evanston at fourth-ranked Riverton. It's a one-versus-four matchup in the bracket, but uh, it was a good game in the regular season. We'll see if it's a good game in the playoffs, visiting with Riverton head coach Mark Lenhart. New location. You're used to me visiting with you on these. I guess, first of all, let's catch up. How would you describe or characterize, Mark, uh, your guys' regular season there with the Riverton Wolverines? You know, it was it was a slow start, but I don't know if it was a slow start because we 
weren't good. It was a slow start because we played the top four teams in the West, which, you know, if you follow 3A at all, has been the dominant conference. And, uh, you know, I thought you always worry with a schedule like that, getting out healthy. And we were able to do that for the most part. And I think it made us tougher and more physical. And when we got to league play, even though we hadn't won a game yet, we felt like we were getting better and there was some confidence with that. And so, you know, once we got into league play, we were able to be competitive. We won our first two games. And then after that, you know, we, we lost a tough one at Douglas that really could have gone either way. And then we ended up winning our last two league games to, to uh, win the league by point differential, even though we were all tied at the end. So I thought that our guys continued to fight and it, it's been great to see us get better and improve. And really the improvement started when we got together this summer and they put a lot of time in. So I'm happy that their hard work paid off. What, if there's anything that you can point to, maybe helped you turn the corner per se in some of these wins in conference games? Well, I, you know, obviously you know, we beat Rollins and we beat Lander, you know, and I mean, I know Lander was down this year compared to what, what they've been because they're so young, but, you know, winning the, the keeper of the gold is a big deal here. And I didn't really realize that until I got here and played in one of those games. And uh, it was cool. And for us to be able to do that, it was like, okay, that's one check off the list. And then, you know, the next week we play Douglas and we say to ourselves, you know, we're right there if we do a few things differently. And then winning the game against Buffalo, you know, kind of winning a game that you weren't supposed to win or predicted to win was huge for us. And, uh, you know, it's the hard part last week was trying to fight off a little bit of that hangover after winning that big game. But, uh, you know, I think along the way, you know, I've been through a couple of rebuilds. You have to try and take the victories where you see them. And if it's even as something as simple in our early years in Torrington is getting some first downs, you have to try and be positive about the good things you're doing and keep working at it. And, you know, it's not like we're devoid of players here in Riverton. There's good athletes. You see it on the basketball courts. You see it on the soccer fields. You see it, you know, all over the place. And we just have to find a way to put it together to put a football team on the field. Now, lo and behold, you get a rematch from a regular season game here in the first round of the playoffs. Think back to that game. I know you're going to tell me the same thing Steve told me a little bit ago, which is we're a different team. But what did you take away from that first meeting against the Red Devils? Well, I think more than anything, you know, they jumped out on us right away. And then I was pleased with the way that we fought back. And uh, mm -hmm. I would agree with Steve. You know, that's that's what you're hoping at this point in the year is that you're better. I think we're better. I think they're better. But the big takeaway from that is, is at that point in the time is, is it just was the week three game, you know, and I think, uh, you know, they've been through a pretty tough schedule with the teams they played out of Utah and then going through the West. Uh, we're going to have our hands full. They're very, very good. And so, you know, I think the biggest takeaway is just that I think kind of what Steve said, he just growth by both squads and hopefully, uh, I think this game's not going to come down to anything crazy or scheme. It's just going to be who ends up doing the little things the best. So what do you look at when you when you kind of preview or, or or I guess game plan for this Evanston squad? What do they look like on film? Well, there's not many uh, quarterback, middle linebacker combos out there in the in the state, you know, and so. Cohen Morrow, uh, the, the Roberts kid, um, Barker, both of them. I mean, those are kids who would play for any team at any classification. They're very good athletes. They're good on the track. Uh, they're good, you know, in their winter sports as well. And so they're very athletic and they've got a lot of speed. I mean, when you look at those kids who are playing football and then what they their track times, you know, they're very athletic. And that gave us problems the first time we played them. So I think being able to try and contain their top guys, uh, is huge, but more than anything, you know, you know, they're going to get some, we just got to try and eliminate a lot of the big plays and make them earn everything they get. And, you know, on offense, we got to create a few explosive plays ourselves. And so, um, you know, like I said, both teams are different. And, and one thing that, you know, that when playoff football comes around, typically it tightens up. That was a pretty high scoring game. I expect them to not allow us to throw the ball over their heads. And I expect us not to give up 75 yard uh, or 60 yard QB sneaks for touchdowns and things like that. So I think both sides will clean up some of those things. And hopefully, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a great football game. You, you've kind of gone through some keys. How do you handle the elements? Really maybe the first time this year that a lot of teams uh, playing in the elements, it sounds like Friday night. Yeah, it, it will be a factor, no doubt. I mean, we're not expected to have, 
the snow is supposed to come through on Thursday and be gone, but it's going to be cold. And anytime that uh, cold football and you're not used to playing with it, the ball always ends up on the ground a little bit more. It just takes time to get used to. And I don't think either team will be prepared for it because we've had such nice weather all fall. But, uh, you know, I think that at the end of the day, you know, is this game's going to come down to, you know, who's more physical in the trenches, as do most of these playoff games. I've coached in a lot of them, and it always comes down to who runs it and who stops the run the best. And uh, special teams always play such a critical factor as well. Mark, that's all I needed. Good to catch up with you, and best of luck at home Friday night. All right. Thanks, David. Appreciate it.